Here we're going to show the utility menu. Press the menu twice. I'm going to press the down button once and submenu to go into it. Uh, advanced MIDI, if you press yes, it uh, will go into a wait mode. This is either if, if you're using the editor and you want to manually go into advanced MIDI, you can do it from here. Uh, if you're having trouble uh, loading firmware, you would go into advanced MIDI. Um, and otherwise for troubleshooting if you're working with me on the telephone. Uh, there might be times when I want you to go into advanced MIDI mode. Uh, it's not used that often. Test. If you want to fire a uh, MIDI command outside of, uh, out of the liquid foot just to test some equipment you have plugged in uh, or test the command, you can go ahead and select the MIDI channel. Uh, press next. Select the MIDI command uh, that you want to send. Normally you're just sending CC commands or PC commands. Give it the CC number and uh, give it the data value and press select and it fires it off and resets itself. So that's what you do there. Uh, if you want to send uh, every all the contents of the Liquid Foot Junior into your software uh, to capture a MIDI dump, if you're not using the editor to do that, which you should be, uh, then you would go ahead and um, uh, press the up key to uh, send all that data. Auto load presets. I'll have a separate video just showing this, but if you have uh, an Axe FX plugged in uh, to a liquid foot, you can get all the presets out of the Axe FX and all the states of the IA switches or the, uh, the effects in each preset and have it automatically load into the uh, liquid foot. Uh, if you want to erase all your data, you'd press the up button here and you cycle back. So that's the utility menu.